the end already at 20% HP pretty much and has three tangos to work with. They don't have uh, any region for it. It's not ideal. Tiger. They get chased out by an adjustment. They don't want to have uh, this bristleback as uh, bristleback against the uh, razor. I guess that was a that was a thing. Even though bristleback can still deal damage, the razor with the quell spray. Mm. But uh, yeah, now you're gonna be playing against Ursa. But there's gonna be keeper of the light stealing some of the CS, uh, messing up with the equilib creep equilibrium, and uh, yeah, blasting the wave on Ursa. So it's not that bad for Bristleback, because uh, Ursa is paired up as you get levels, it's going to get uh, more difficult for Bristleback. Yeah, looking at this, I would have thought it's like, you know, rock and hard place. Matu has to lay in against Razor or the Ursa. Difficult decision either way. You can tell that OG definitely didn't expect this, because Ursa did not start with the magic stick. He just brought it with uh, his courier, so that means that uh, they thought they're just going to lane normal. Normally. Oh, normal in, lady. normal in. <laughs> Seb is up top on that earth shaker. BZM the upper hand because of that. But once we get the bottle flowing and the runes controlled up, BZM can absolutely recover. And he is back against a melee hero, right? Even though Tiny has the toss back, you're still going to be applying a lot of damage and a lot of pressure. Mika does have 19 wand charges already on a mid lane, and he's off to a good start. 8 CS, and we're going to use his avalanche. Deal some damage. Two of them. <laughs> He's gonna be dropping it. Uh, Amar is ready. He's like, Taiga, drop one right now. So I don't lose any gold. Yeah, show him what's up. Probably gonna pull up there, Taiga. Successful because of Matu's positioning very forward. And aggressively gets up towards them. One creep will die at the camp, but that's fine for Liquid as they've got to pull off into the large Dyer's camps themselves. And now Matu attack. has that Ring of Health, uh, infinite region in terms of mana coming out from Keeper of the Light. Uh, as you said, Insania doing a very good job of blasting the wave, uh, harassing Ursa. Yuragi constantly on half HP, needs another 100 gold to finish off his Morbid Mask. But that's not going to be sustained. Like, you know, th hmm. this Morbid Mask, you need to keep hitting the creeps, uh, hitting the heroes, and I'm not sure if he's going to be able to do that. So this time around, uh, Bristleback uh, probably gonna go for Vanguard because he's playing against Viper and Ursa to be able to move some of the damage. And Draghi has five stick charges. Oh, he's being died. Well, the Bristol has got the heal from Tiger though. When you lose a tier one tower, you kill a tier one tower, you're gonna be playing top part of the map. Uh, and you always possess this Roshan threat. Uh, okay. So Team Liquid will need to be careful about it, especially if you manage to steal Aegis from Bristleback because he does rely on getting one. Uh, looks like BZM's given up on the idea of sitting mid and catching up in terms of lane creeps. He's going to try and stack jungle, get some ancients going for himself. Now, oh, sure. He's going to get the golden money from mid lane. Now, sure. In terms of CS, uh, Batrider 13 and 3, Tiny 23. I think one of the most impressive Tinies I've seen is Mickey Tiny. I, th I think he is uh, probably one of the best, if not the best, Tiny player. From the mid lane. From the mid lane, yeah, exactly. Absolutely, yeah. We have, oh, Yuragi is about to die, isn't he? Matsu, Quill Spray's going. Uh, he's the gonna first spray. Blood, and he's gonna go for spray Tiger. Tiger as well. Bonus One more. on top. Yeah, the Chakra Magic just allows him to keep pumping that damage and he'll survive. Even under that tier one tower. Look at Insania, didn't want to go for for the full Radiant's channel time to steal some of the top. CS. Uh, but it's all just trading out in that regen battle as OG have the wave. Arriving at their tier one tower for the, the safe farm there for the Razor. There is a uh, three stacks for OG, which could be a bit. They, they don't have the heroes to clear the stacks with, like Ursa with Morbid Mask later. Stacks. Could be a massive bonus there for Liquid. They're already 1k up. A couple of kills to the good. Seb struggling to contend with Boxy. One of, his, uh, one of his better heroes nowadays, Boxy, on that position for Dawnbreaker, it feels like. That's Mickey. Oh, he gets even the gets the haste there. <laughs> Tiger. Up and down, where are you gonna go? Regretting Drop the mantle. He's gonna heal himself. Oh, just in time. Delayed. It's the inevitable death of himself, though. Tiger will do a little bit of chip damage back to Mickey, but the finishing blow is there, while Matu gets a solo kill down bottom. Ursa try to man up and fight him. Five Fury Swipe charges on Matumba Man, but having that Vanguard. Uh, is a bit too difficult. Also, he is level 6, Ursa's level.
He might even get straight up bag at him scepters. They feel like there's no Radiant's need for initiation this time around, attack. but it does also amplify your farm. Getting the Echo Saber Radiant before the Blink Dagger. Scan. This is gonna be 10 minute power treads, Wind Lace, Magic Wand. Uh, first time here in Insania, this is gonna be a kill and uh, they're gonna give it to Yoragi. That, that, that's fine. We saw from the previous picture in picture what Insania just did. He stacked out the two camps. He killed off one of the small creeps in that camp as well. So he made sure it respawned right on time. Giving him up to plenty of room. Clear out all of the juicy stacks made up for him. 5,000 net worth, eight and a half minutes in now for the Bristle back. Vanguard Hood, and he's gonna start getting well on his way to the Aghanims as Amar up top. Seb tries to save with the Fisher there, and they've got Zai all leashed up. So a one for one trade out. Boxy goes to the TP home, but Seb also arriving. A two smoked heroes, Tiny and Tiny the Dawnbreaker. In we go onto the Wyvern, gets the combo straight onto Tiger, blows her up, and Yuragi slapped down by the hammer while Matu did TP in, reacting to OG's move, and they're gonna find kills on cause. Armo, the next one on the ticket, picked off by Matu. A dominating bristleback. Can't be touched right now, 10 minutes. Liquid bringing in numbers, there's also a haste rune for Mickey to pick it up. Xenia uh, will replenish his mana in a couple of seconds, so Mickey will be ready to go in. And just another haste rune! He sprints straight towards your right. He takes down the earth. So the witness curse is a good one to try and delay Liquid and hold the back. Lasso burning through with a lasso fire five and low. He's incredibly tanky. BGM just doesn't have what it takes. Minke now unstoppable and Matsu. Of course he's gonna die in tier two. Come here, Tiger. Three before me. Give it to the bristle back. Mega kill streak for him. And a toss up on Amar. We'll find the razor as well. One by one they fall flat. This is the lineup that the Yura. What are we looking at for for Amar? I'm guessing a DKB rush on the cards. Ooh, that's a curse in mid lane on the me. They do have the chain disable here. Swap at mid game. Might they be too far away. Can get him? Yes. Mid game swap down. They've taken him away from danger. Zai now in the thick of things, being beaten up by Yuragi. Teddy Bear not mucking around anymore. But a good save. Yeah, spam that Zai J in chat for this uh, magnificent time. save on Mickey. Zai very sacrificial. Just allows himself to be taken down for the greater good. OG still. been showing for a very long time. They're all there. Only one hero elsewhere on the map. That's Seb down bottom just continually pushing out that dead lane. Getting as much of the farm as possibly can. He buys out his shard. This coincides with Liquid's timing. Link in, toss back. Your he ceases to exist. Got a bit of damage though with the Witcher's Curse. Is ready. They can swap Mickey out of there if need be. He's ticking down from a bit of backline spell usage. But Matu will give chase towards Tiger. Call the Brace will do nothing to save him from the onslaught that comes his way. Radiant Triangle now belongs to the Dire team. And so does Roshan. They know there's no curse for 69 seconds and they're gonna go inside the pit very nice and vicious goo after 15 years of playing Dota. Well, I would need to do this, but you're gonna take me a long while as well. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, man, vicious. That's vicious that, that, nasal goo, of course. That, that sounds nasty. Viscous sounds even more. Set on bottom. Gonna try to TP out. As is Amar. No stuns on Matsu. There's a lot of damage, HP. Incredibly rough for the Batrider this time around. Radiant's bottom tower. Matsu just gonna pick himself a tier two. Unlock the outpost down bottom. Get to collect the other four players. Whenever there's an Ursa on team, they don't play around Ursa. Because I does have that Aghanim step. They're gonna swap him in aggressively. Yeah, you're arguing. Turns and fights him, but in comes the Solar Guardian. Aghanim's going back up just enough. The curse there, just onto the one. Mickey thinking about rejoining the Star Hammer landing onto Yuragi as Matu diving. Kills off Tiger, turns and faces, looks for Ursa. And that's Liquid <laughs> continuing this domination as they do lose Zai, but the illusion is up. Voice chat wheel line with the beaky beat. <laughs> that was a perfect time for it. Yeah. Scepter on him. Like, even Earthshaker, if he 
farms a blink dagger anytime soon, which he does not have in quick buy. He comes, he jumps in, you deal with Scepter, you break the combo. Right, that's a great item choice there, Matu. He's coming in towards BZM's back. Three stacks of sticky napalm on him. Aegis left for one minute on the bristle. All but the damage from the tiny as he stands next to the trees and just launches them towards the back. Clears through BZM simply. This is full lag and scepter on Tiny. He did uh, disassemble his Echo Saber and uh, now he's uh, bringing just the EP scroll. We'll, we'll see if he... And there's that Yule Scepter to break the combo. Still gonna, still, gonna, still gonna die in the end. Had the six magical on charges, but with Fate Grenade, he thought he was dead anyway. Swap on the mid lane and gonna kill the Courier as well. Yeah, Tiger found out. Courier and the Wyvern dead. <laughs> Do you think OG can fight around second Roche with Curse, with Echo Slam? Is that a possibility? Is that something they could, that I mean, they, they need to. They need to land a good Curse, uh, potentially Echo Slam. Oh. Right now, showing in the mid lane. Might be the bait that they're trying to set the trap around this mid tier too. Suck Liquid into a fight. Now, OG does have the high ground advantage. Matsu, no longer having an Aegis, will have to rely on his BKB and natural tankiness to withstand OG's team flight prowess. It's pretty comfortable just to go back for the tier 2. Outside, ready to play Dota right now. He does have both Short and Aghanim Scepter, so double bounces on Magic Mid just yet. First point of contact, looks like it's going to be Amar. Razor has that BKB, he could go for a TP home as well. Only the swap to really try and cancel it. He does BKB and link up Matu, but you see how quickly Liquid now will reinforce the situation. The tree's locked in towards him. Half HP tries to heal up, but he's taken down quickly. Amar gone. The Fisher and the catch though onto Insania finds a, a trade out here. But Tiger being focused down by Zai. And Matu chases straight towards Seb. A couple of quick whacks of the mace comes out from Matu's bristleback. And Yuragi nearly forced to BKB. And just TP home. Again, defensive usage coming out of OG. Amar, a little too far away from the team. He tried to connect on the first effect. I don't think he's the target that they can go on. Like, they... they Rider. That's why we used to see uh, Radiant's bad boys back in the day. Oh, yeah, the good old... But Zai already trying to break the snow. Good positioning from him. He's already dead. OG, they needed to be there. Yeah, that's so fake, Zai. My bad. Faster. Yeah, this, the illusion. Amar. He's on to Insania, they'll take whatever they can get. Easy one on to Makoto, while Zai's illusion is killed off by Yuragi. Matu and Mickey turning back, facing off against the Mark BZM. The Golden Brace comes and heals him up as the curse. Trying to cancel out the Solar Guardian, allowing the Bat Rider to PKB and run away, but look at Matu go! He just stacked Mickey's up. In trouble. The damage coming. Mickey's streak, it is broken out by Yuragi's Ursa. And Liquid, even after taking second Roshan, being broken apart by OG. Not too bad of a fight uh, for OG. They they got uh, something out of this. It still shows that they can take the fight, especially if they split it like that for her. Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. Radiant structures are fortified. Yeah, they, they, they know way they more know. than us. Crystal yeah, no. back. 
Still has Aegis for a minute, dropping very low though as BZM and Amar have spent their BKBs just to hold the high ground. I was always wondering what Zai J is. I think this, we found it. I think this is it. This is the clone from Vengeful Spirit. I think that's the original one is Zai and this one's Zai J. This is Zai J, yeah. What does the J stand for? Vengeful Spirit. <laughs> Get me out of here. <laughs> How long have you been holding on to that? No, no, I, I, I. You came up with that on the spot, did you? No, no, Gary, I, I. Huh? And uh, trying to figure out, you know. Memes, memes? Me me Any memes? Yeah, yeah. Oh, you got me there. Take out too much work for that. Matu, again, just waltzes up to tier threes. Radiance middle. 30 seconds left. All right, immortality. He might be a little bit worried now, but a swap back out. Zai puts himself in, does respawn, the illusion expires. Another swap there to put him on. A little further away, and Matu's clear through Tiger. Zai getting drained of all his damage, but I don't think he's too mindful of that. We'll swap back out of the illusion. Another, another swap. swap back. A great stun's coming through, and Matu's BKB allows him to sprint forward, chasing him off. Oh, he pops his one. He might survive, but the magic missiles keeping BZM back towards Fountain as Yuragi drops. There's a buyback available here. OG losing it, smoked up, trying to run forward, they get the lasso in on to Matu, but cancelled out by the swap, Zai, he saved the day yet again, another good curse, Minke backing into the bristle, but he's not really doing too much damage, Solar Garden keeps him all topped up, and Zai's gonna fly back, running straight towards the throne, there's another good fisher from Seb, but Minke pummels into Amar, Razor gets a bone tossed at him, but he's swapped back in again, Magic Missile's being spammed out by Zai, and Amar's Razor dead to rise. That's got to be it now. They are bunkered down in the fountain and Liquid looking to win game one as they focus throne and finish off this Radiant base. They will call it. In the end, Zai buys back after his, uh, like during his clone, comes back, <laughs> dies again. <laughs> And I'd like, how many Zai's are there? Zai J, Zai K, 